Hey, I'm Hunter Logan, of course, but today I'm coming to you not as Hunter Logan, the DJ, or as Hunter Logan, the recording artist. I'm coming to you as Hunter Logan, the guy who was once in church and left church and then came back to Jesus. I'm coming to you as the prodigal. The prodigal, the CD, 13 original songs. This is my testimony. This is my life in song right here. God bless me with some original material. I haven't recorded anything since 2005. This is my first Christian project ever. And the songs on here are really special to me. Of course, the Prodigal, this is my testimony song. And I have a song on here called The Prodigal. Now, this talks about, of course, growing up, serving the Lord, then leaving, then coming back to Him. Of course, I've been serving Him ever since. But some of the songs on here, Jesus Never Hung Me Out to Dry, that's the first song. Now, that talks about a verse that my mama used to quote to me all the time. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging for bread. Well, simply in layman's terms, Jesus never hung me out to dry, and he hasn't. And he won't hang you out to dry either. Then there's the vessel, and that song simply talks about being a vessel for the Lord, which is what I am, and which is what I want to be, and which is what I plan to be. It just talks about the different hats that you wear for God. Sometimes he needs you to be a DJ, sometimes he needs you to be a singer, Sometimes he needs you to be a writer or a preacher or a teacher. Well, that's the vessel. Then there's two bobby pins. Kind of a little take on a comical type song, you know, where the back in the Pentecostal days where the ladies with the big hair dudes and the bobby pins. If they had a lot of bobby pins on the floor after a church service, then you know they had a big blowout church service because there was a lot of bobby pins on the floor. The reason I wrote about the bobby pins it's because in the studio we have church pews and we were taking them apart and two bobby pins and 35 cents fell out. Well, I couldn't keep the 35 cents in the song, but I was able to keep the two bobby pins in the song. So that's that song. The song, He Ain't Jesus, well, that is about preachers who think they are Jesus. Not all preachers, but there are some who like to tell you what to do, how to do, when you can do, and they try to be the advocate. Matthew 24 and 5 says that some will come in my name saying that they are the Christ. Well, there's some preachers who don't say it, but they act it. And then 1 John 2 and 1 says that Jesus is the advocate to the Father, not man. Although some preachers will try to act like the advocate or try to be the advocate. Well, that's not the case. That's what that song's about. Then there's a song called A Little Bit of Jesus, and that's a whole lot of con. Well. A friend of mine walked in my office one day and said, you know what, I know some preachers that are a little bit of Jesus and a whole lot of kind. I said, man, that's the name of the song. So I held it and I wrote it. I don't think I'm bashing preachers on this album because I'm not. That's the only two songs that talk about preachers. Then there's a song called God's Promises. God's Promises are yes and amen, and they are. And I wrote a song about that. And then there's a song called Another Chance. God gives you another chance, he gives you all kinds of chances. Just like he gave a lot of people in the Bible, second chances, and more chances, he gives you chances. And that's what that song is about. Then there's a song called, God Gives the Increase. One plants, one waters, God gives the increase. You might be a planter, you might be a water, but God gives the increase. Then there's a song called, The Transition of Time. This is about the first miracle Jesus did, turning the water into wine. A lot of misconception about that. People think that's a scripture for drinking. And people think that the miracle was turning the water into wine. But there really is a deeper meaning to that. And I'll tell you about it on that song. Then there's Holy Ghost Preacher Man. That kind of describes me. Because I am a faith-walking, tongue-talking, Holy Ghost Preacher Man. And I make no apologies for it. Then the day my mama died, my mama's alive and well and I'm grateful. But for some folks who might have lost their mother, this is gonna be a great song to touch them. A friend of mine wrote it, and I felt obliged to put it on the album because it was long overdue. And then there's the bonus track, Shack Up With The Devil, my first ever Christian song written. 
And that one was written from a Facebook meme, believe it or not. I seen it on Facebook. I said, wow, what a song that would make. So listen, I hope you go check it out. You can go to hleradio.com. Click on the link, the prodigal. It'll look just like this. You can get it, have it shipped to you. And I hope it blesses you. And suddenly I started to run.